I want to talk to you about a market called Vermilion, Ohio, right? I think there's a lot of really good deals out there in Vermilion. You probably ain't ever heard about Vermilion, so we're going to check it out right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise. Today's show is from a guy, Mark. And Mark, I got a property I think you're going to dig, man. It's above your pricing threshold, right? You're looking for some multifamily. You want it to be over 115 uh, because the lender you're working with has got some uh, specific requirements. I think this one is another banger. Nice, safe, solid, stable investment, right? Definitely nothing with these types of returns for this cost uh, out there in Minneapolis for you. So Mark, uh, let's take a look at the numbers right now. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's gonna be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's gonna be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. This is the meat. The meat and taters. Meat and taters, y'all. For us to help you guys invest in real estate, right? We need to, of course, handle everything on the ground, right? Here's the property. As you see, there's some snow on the ground, right? It's cold. Cold out here in this area. I know a lot of you people out there coming to the show. Coming to us from warm climates, right? We get a lot of West Coast folks, right? You got the Californians escaping communism. You got the Portland, Oregonians escaping Portland, Oregonians area. They got a lot of communism. You got folks in Denver, uh, you know, New Yorkers, New Jersey folks. A lot of people coming to this market uh, looking to escape untenable housing prices, tougher government regulations, and then in the case of some of those places I mentioned, just untenable government regulations, right? But that's okay. You guys all continue to live where you live in my team. We handle the on-the-ground work, right? So we'll be able to handle full-service property management, maintenance, renovations, insurance, the whole shebang, right? You got a tenant, eats too much Taco Bell, screws the toilet up, we'll fix it. You need a new roof, we handle that. We do it all, folks. Full service, turnkey reimagine. But it starts with understanding the property, understanding what you're buying. This is a duplex in a very, very nice neighborhood. I would give this neighborhood grade a B. Now, when I grade neighborhoods, folks, for substance, you want to check out the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. Don't worry. I've linked to it in the show notes below. It's also available on the tools and resource section of holdenlice.com. And if you really get desperate and you can't handle clicking the links that I just explained, you could go ahead and Google that some bitch. You're going to be there too. Now, in that grading guide, I gave you guys an idea of this particular market because this is in the Cleveland market, although we're about 45 minutes to an hour west. Vermilion, Ohio. You see that? See this right here? You see all this? Yeah, this is the water, right? Right on Lake Erie, okay? Very, very nice neighborhood. You're very close to Putin Bay, uh, Kelly's Island, right? This is good stuff, right? We do a lot of Airbnb action up in here too, right? So very, very nice neighborhood. The property, 270 Alberta Drive, Vermilion, Ohio, 44089. It's been on the market for 50 days, priced at 149.9. It's been on, it's been off, okay? Went under contract, fell out of contract. I know a lot of buyers see that a property falls out of contract and they freak out. They're like, oh, no, James, what's wrong with it? The last guy backed out. Folks, trust but verify. We're going to figure out if there's issues with it because we're going to do your contract contingent on inspection. But why the last guy backed out, who knows? Could be anything. Look, I do this all day, every day. I've sold $200 million worth of investment properties. And we're looking at price points. Around 150K, 100K, 75K, you do the math, right? If those are my average price points and I sold 200 million, I've been involved in a lot of real estate transactions. I'll tell you this buyers are flaky. We got a saying in real estate buyers are liars and sellers are thieves. And dude, let me tell you, that is true. Now, as you all know, if you work with me one on one, I charge you up front. Now, 
Uh, there's many reasons I do that. One of them is the fact that buyers are flaky, bro. Woo! I ain't gonna hang out with nobody unless I'm getting paid. Because, oh, man, doing as many transactions as I had, I probably had hundreds, if not thousands, of buyers back out, right? It just happens. Honestly, to be honest with you, uh, in the Cleveland market, all these investment properties, I would say like 30% of them go on and off the market at least once. Buyers are just really flaky people. It is what it is. Uh... I don't make the rules. I just convey them to you. I'm your market expert, right? I am your boots on the ground, right? I don't make all the rules out here, but I just give you guys the lay of the land. So the fact that this is back on the market, not a big deal. Now, part of that saying, buyers are liars, sellers are thieves. If the seller's trying to hide something or lie about it, don't worry. We're getting you an inspection. We will figure it out. Uh, but what I'm telling you guys is this is going to be a banger of a deal, man. Uh, you already got two tenants in there. They're both paying seven and a quarter. And from the looks of things, they've both been there a long time. We do not want to remove them because we don't want to have to turn these units, right? They're both kind of dated, so we'd have to spend a little bit of money refreshing them to get you market rent. But I don't think it'd be a problem to slowly increase their rents, get them up to market, because market is definitely a little bit higher, right? They got a lot of crap in this house. Looks like they've been here for quite some time. Why? Because this is a really nice neighborhood. The nicer the neighborhoods you go in, the lower your turnovers are going to be. The lower your turnovers are going to be, theoretically, the more money you're going to make. You don't want a lot of turnovers in this game. Turnovers are what cost you money. Like, thinking that getting it from seven and a quarter to market is more important than not having a turnover, that's false thinking. You make more money by keeping butts in your properties. Now, Market rent on this is going to be about eight fifty, eight fifty per unit. So that's seventeen hundo, twenty thousand four hundred. As far as the price goes, even though this is a great B grade neighborhood right there on the lake, I think you're going to always have a pretty easy go of things with your tenants. I think one forty nine nine is a little optimistic. I believe I could go in, wrestle that seller a little bit, get you a little discount. I'd like to get you this property for one thirty five. That's my target now. That said, if you end up having to pay 140, no biggie, right? This is a solid deal, okay? This is going to be good for the long term. So, 135, that's our target price, right? 17 hundo comes in every month, but of course, it doesn't come in every month, folks. This is real estate investing. At some point, even though we're mitigating as much risk as possible here, you may deal with repairs, maintenance, vacancy, non-payment, capex, tax insurance, all the other stuff, right? So, at the end of the day, on average, I think you'll clear about ten and a half every year. Now you pay one thirty five. Good thing is this is real estate. You get to utilize other people's money, folks. You only put down thirty three seven fifty, bank kicks in another hundred one. I project this investment to be a seventeen percent cash on cash return, right? Not bad. You kick in less than thirty four K, get seventeen percent ROI. You're in a safe, solid B-grade neighborhood, my team handles all the on-the-ground work. This is why investors from all over the world come to Hold Wise because we put you guys in positions to invest in properties like this. And guess what? Government regulations, they're not too bad. Now, truth be told, uh, it's not the most landlord-friendly market in the United States. For that, you want to go to Arkansas. In Arkansas, if your tenant is three days late on rent, you're allowed to shoot them in the face. I I don't think that's actually true. I think I made that up, but honestly, I don't I don't know if I did. Like they're pretty wild down there in Arkansas. But what we have in this particular market is reasonable landlord tenant laws, right? You want your landlord tenant laws to be, you know, pretty even, right? So as a rental property owner in this market, you're gonna still have Right. So, of course, we got to evict them through the court system. But guess what? It ain't illegal to evict them like California. You know what I'm saying? So, all told, this, folks, this is a nice, safe, solid, secure investment. This won't be perfect. And this is why investors from all over are coming here, working with your boy, Jay Wise. And, of course, my team, after the sale, we will handle all the property management, maintenance, and construction. Folks, this is a banger. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.